Oh, the topic of this video, guys, is going to be about luxury versus poverty. Luxury versus poverty. Would you be better off being born into a wealthy family or would you be better off being born as like a bum, a hobo, the child of like a, a, a hobo? That would be so funny being a, the, like a, little, a little child of like a bum, a hobo. It's very funny, guys. Let's, let's get into this video because it's so important to figure this out. What would be the difference if you were born into a wealthy family or if you were born a bum to a poor family? It's like, I honestly do think it's gonna like impact you massively in terms of like your character development. I honestly do think so. Honestly, I do think so guys that if you were born into a rich family or if you were born into a poor family, that would impact your character development so tremendously guys. Honestly, I 100% do believe so. Typically though, obviously, if you're born to a rich family, I do, most people would agree that you're, you're gonna be a little bit spoiled, you're gonna be a little bit too much, too better off, maybe for better or for worse, because still, if you're poor, maybe if you're born to a wealthy family, you could, uh, your parents can feed you properly, they can educate you properly, you'll be, maybe actually you'll be a lot more better off than the poor kid that's kind of more illiterate, can't, his parents can't feed him properly, so he's gonna be more malnourished, his bones aren't gonna be developed properly, he's gonna be a little bit more dumber because he hasn't been getting the right nutrients to his brain. He's gonna be a little bit more stupider because his parents, his poor fucking homeless parents can't afford a proper good education. I'm um, really, luxury versus poverty, it's, it's kind of actually very, it's kind of, it's like a very stupid video. Because it's kind of, it's like a no-brainer, obviously, that being born into like a wealthy family would just be, you would just be better off being born into a wealthy family. There's literally no benefits of being born into a poor family it's like fucking everything about your life is just gonna be shit and worse you're probably gonna be filled with hate and resent and you're gonna but i do think in terms of like character development i do think if you're born to a poor family that's gonna give you like a lot of good um life lessons you're gonna learn a lot of life lessons maybe perhaps maybe maybe not maybe you just might turn into a drug addict i don't know a lot you know that's quite sad so you know you watch all these movies disney movies whatever cartoons oh there's like a kid he's born to a poor family but he makes it out in the end you know in real life a lot of kids that are born into poverty especially if you're looking at india china asia they turn into slaves, they get sold into slave labory, they turn into slave labor, or they fucking, they get turned into, they, they get, they, 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 they literally get sometimes sexually abused, or they might be turned into like something like, um, I guess they, they, they just fucking, they fucking, oh, fucking hell, I'm thinking about my own life now, fucking, but they fucking, a lot of these kids that are born into these poor countries, they fucking, <laughs> They don't turn into fucking celebrities, I'll tell you that. They, they fucking become, they stay poor, they stay miserable and stuff, and a lot of them just die in childhood. That's actually so sad. Actually, that is like actually super common that, because you, you watch movies, you watch all these fucking movies, these fucking fantasy films. Oh, there's a kid, he's born into a poor family, but he makes it out in the end and he gets all, he gets everything he wants and he's, he lives a happy, merry life. Actually, in real life, guys, a lot of kids, they get born to poor families. They just fucking die in childhood. That's kind of sad. They die of disease or some or malnutrition. That's actually very sad, especially in the case of Africa. That's so sad, guys. But anyway, but luxury versus poverty. It's a no-brainer. Obviously, luxury would be... If you're born to a wealthy family, you're going to be better educated, better fed. Just, be, just going to be more better as a human being. You're just going to be more capable. You're going to be more flexible. You're going to be more developed. But still... I think if you're if you're born into luxury, one of the downsides to that would be the fact that your character development's gonna go down the toilet, guys. If you're born into luxury, typically it's kind of like power corrupts. It's kind of like very cliche, especially if you look at like a lot of medieval kings. They were so like, and the, the Roman Caesars and the emperors of Rome, and there was other people like that. And maybe the Shahs of Iran and like maybe the the Rajahs of India and Pakistan and Afghanistan. I don't know. It's kind of like. If you're born into luxury, one of the downsides I would say so is that your character development goes down the toilet, guys. You tend, even, it's, it, it actually is so like, um, it's pretty much been proven that power corrupts absolutely, guys. If you're born into like a nobility, it's, it's gonna like ruin your character development. Your character development's gonna go down the toilet. Whereas if you're born as a poor person, you, if you're, if you're gonna be arrogant, hateful, a piece of shit human being, you're gonna get fucking, you're not gonna be able, nobody's gonna tolerate that, you're probably just gonna get beaten to death or something like that, you're not gonna be, your life's not gonna be fair to you, you're gonna be, because if you're a poor person, you're, you, you, you kind of are forced to be like a hardworking, good human being, you're not, or maybe you might be a drug, drug you might become a drug dealer, a lot of poor people, I'm, kind of, I'm being kind of a dumbass making these blanket statements, like a fucking retard, now if you're poor, you're gonna be like this, etc. I'm such a dumbass. I need to kind of be more specific. But luxury versus poverty, typically though, it's true that if you're born into nobility, luxury, etc., you're gonna your character development probably is gonna go down the toilet. I do think so because everything's gonna to be too easy for you. You're not gonna like learn 
any important life lessons. You're not going to learn to value hard work. You're not going to learn to be like a strong, to be to be like a strong, capable human being. You're just going to be kind of like, kind of like softened by all that comfort and luxury. And typically, that's what happens if you look at our human history. All like these, there's like so many different cases like where civilizations rise and fall. Why is that they rise to a top and then what happens? They become too comfortable and then they collapse downwards and someone else comes and takes them over. It's so, it's so common. If you look, just like analyze the, um, the Mongol invasions, the Mongolian people were kind of like, they were, they, they were raised in like a shithole kind of environment, maybe perhaps. Is Mongolia a shithole? I wouldn't say so. But it's like, it was, they, like in the, especially in the Middle Ages, Mongolia was like such a rough place. It still was a rough place. And the Mongols, that, that kind of taught them like to value hard work and to labor hard and etc. It, it kind of elevated their character development. And what happened was that inevitably the Mongols, they, after the birth of Genghis Khan, they came together and they united in, like, into, a, into a big fat tribal confederation. Then they marched out and they fucking took over the world and they, they fucking were like so influential in terms of like geopolitics. But, I do think all of that came from the fact that the Mongols, they were like, they were literally raised in like such a shithole environment that toughened them up, that made, forced them to value hard work. That if you want to accomplish things and achieve things, you need to be a hard worker, a capable, strong individual. You can't be a little whiny bitch that depends on his parents. You have to actually be very hardworking and capable. And luxury versus poverty, that is one of the biggest issues, like being born into like luxury, into nobility, into royalty your character development just goes down the toilet. You don't learn to value hard work or to labor hard, etc. You kind of get too comfort, comforted, softened up a little bit too much. Is that a bad thing though? Because if you're born into poverty, even if you're forced, even if that toughens you up, you're still gonna be suffering from malnutrition. You're not gonna get a proper education because your poor parents can't afford that, etc. So maybe perhaps being born into luxury is still, it's still it's obviously it's still more better than being born into a poor, poor family. And it, yeah, it's, it's so like, oh. Luxury versus poverty, and this guy's really helping you think about this, because it really should like enlighten you on certain things about our lives. If you're born into like luxury, nobility, royalty, how are you? Your character development, it most likely is going to go down the toilet. Like you're not going to learn to value hard work. Everything's going to be too easy. It'll be too softened and comfort comforted by luxury and etc. If you're born like what about but, but poverty is kind of like a different story. Poverty. If you're born as a poor person. You you can't bitch and moan. You have to work hard, or you're gonna fucking die. That's kind of like again. If you look at if you analyze the the Mongol Empire, I always love going talk thinking about. I always love talking about the Mongolian Empire. It's so interesting that the Mongols, they were from a, such a shithole environment, such a rough place, and they fucking took over all of Asia and Europe to some extent. Eastern Europe specifically, maybe perhaps not not maybe perhaps not Western Europe. Definitely not England. But why is that? Why didn't the fucking Chinese do that? Because yeah, compare the Mongols to the Chinese. Because the Chinese, they look, they were pretty much like a, they had, they had like a decent civilization going. They were like so comforted by luxury and all the things about their society. They were like so developed. They had all this like advanced culture, and they were so like comforted, and they had the, they were so like relaxed. And maybe perhaps that's that kind of that's the reason why the Chinese never managed to take over the world like the Mongols, the Mongolians. They were like fucking battered up by their environment. They were in such a rough, horrendous environment. They were like so like fucking. Everything about their lives was so horrifically brutal. Slavery and fucking um, women getting kidnapped and fucking hell was like so brutal and that kind of probably toughened them up, toughened, toughened them up. And they marched out from Mongolia. Yeah, they fucking went over all of Asia and they took it over and they won a lot of wars and they were now remembered in history for being brutal fucking conquerors, literal fucking um, chads that took over countless societies and bred with the women anyway but i don't want to get onto that but luxury versus poverty i'm really not really i want to really focus on like character development because if you were born into like royalty nobility your character development's going to go down the toilet i do think so you're going to be too comforted by luxury too softened up you're not going to be valuing hard work and laboring at all whereas if you're born into poverty if you don't work hard you you pretty much die i, I do think so if you're born, if you're a poor person and you don't, you're not willing to work hard, you fucking die. There's no ifs or buts. You can't be a little bitch if you're a poor person. That's why I think in terms of like, I do, I do think that that's why like if people that are like not like people that are like more middle class, maybe or lower like on the lower stratum of society, they, these types of people they're more down to earth. I do think so. I, I think a lot of the people that are of the lower stratum of society, they're more down to earth. They're more honorable. I do think so. They're a lot more honorable. Whereas with people that are more on the upper stratum of society, they're typically a little bit more um, degenerate, more maybe perhaps they're into orgies. Definitely, if you, you look into like um, a lot of the history of like um, 
the medieval kings and their concubinage. I don't want to get into that, but think about this really. Think about everything I said in this video very carefully, guys. I think that's about it.